If you want to create a file within my courses where you're going to need to show high resolution images, you want to follow this tutorial where a student will click on a small image, thumbnail image, and that Im that's going to open up that high resolution image in something called an overlay. The overlay is really a nice feature because it does not get blocked by pop-up blockers. The other advantage of this is that you can have a whole slew of these images on your page and it won't take, won't, the page won't take a long time to load. And then again, it won't have the student scrolling up and down. Now, it's real important that you follow this tutorial carefully and don't miss a step. You should also note that this tutorial assumes you feel comfortable working within the HTML source code of the HTML editor. If you do not, please contact my courses for faculty and, uh, at spcollege.edu for some help. Now there's a couple, uh, a few things that you should have done before you get started on the actual tutorial. And that is you should have your images prepared. In other words, you should have two images, a small thumbnail and a larger image. The small thumbnail will be resized to the graphic, in a graphic editing uh, program like Photoshop. You should have all, all the images uh, uploaded to the Manage File area, and you should have them in folders organized. And then there's a couple pieces of HTML code that you're going to need, and we'll get to those once we get into the tutorial. So I've started my file, and I'm going to click inside the text area on the HTML uh, source editor. I'm going to highlight this line of code that starts with iframe and ends with iframe. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to click inside the HTML editor, it doesn't matter where you put this, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that HTML code into that uh, HTML source editor. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now I'm going to add my images. I'm going to click on the Insert Image icon, and again it's assumed you've uploaded your images. I'm going to click on Course Offering Files, and I'm going to navigate to where I have my images. In this case, I call one small, one large to make sure that they're organized in a great, good way. I'm going to select the radio button next to the image I want. I'm going to click on Add. I'm going to click on the checkbox next to this image is decorative, and I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is click on the image itself so that it's selected, and now I'm going to click on the Quick Link icon. I'm going to click on Course Files. I'm going to navigate to where my larger image is, and I'm going to click on the name of that larger image. Now what I want to do is highlight the text that says Target equals Overlay. I'm going to click on the HTML editor within the file text area, and now I'm going to find where it says target equals self and it's going to be right about there after the image name. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do a paste. So now it should be target equal overlay. I'm going to click the save button. I can go ahead now and finish my text file and I'm going to click the publish button. Once I've done that if I click on this image, you'll notice that it opens up in what's called an overlay. Pop-up blockers won't block it. Students can close it. And they can see the, the real good details of that image. And you can put as many of those as you want into your uh, file. And again, have the students be able to click on it, be able to view a high-resolution image, and be able to close that.